Consumer Reports recently ranked driver assistance systems and gave Mercedes a 72, while Tesla Autopilot only got a 61. Mercedes got a 10 out of 10 in capabilities and performance, while Tesla Autopilot only got a 9 out of 10. So is it true? Does Mercedes really have a better driver assistance system than Tesla? To find out, we took a brand new Mercedes EQS with the latest driver assistance system and a 2023 Tesla Model S with Tesla FSD, and we put them head to head on the same exact road. What you're gonna see in this video is both systems driving side by side on the same road with a tally of the number of interventions for both systems overlaid. So here you go. Watch the video and let me know for yourself. Which system would you rather use? And which system do you think is better? Now, okay, so let's go ahead and say set. Okay. No. I don't think it will work here because there are no lane markings. Oh, right. So the comparison is obviously day and night. Right now, the car is just driving on the street without lane markings. That was not even possible on the Mercedes. All right, here we go. There we go. What the hell? Okay, it's kind of driving in between the two lanes. Yeah. But it was a merge, so. I don't think it's. it's okay, really it's kind of ping ponging. Yeah. Ping ponging is a good word, but reduce the speed. <laughs> Yeah. Reduce the speed. I don't think it can handle it. It's driving like a drunk driver, <laughs> literally. It's all over. Yeah. And they don't even call it beta. Right. coming on head on be careful because I don't okay, it's me. going over the line a little bit oh well it's kind of drifting off the road to the right I had to take over yeah well you heard that sound yeah so which was like please take over uh -huh. sound and there's no visualization right no You know, overall it is following the lanes. There you go. Another one. Okay, as I had to take over you, again. As soon as you said overall it's following the lane. <laughs> he didn't like that. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Right. Be careful here. It's gonna cross the yellow lane, yellow line. Yeah, it is crossing the yellow a little bit. It's oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, another take over there. That was a pretty dangerous one because yeah. it's gonna go into the opposite traffic lane. Right. This is what is actually something that should be still labeled as beta well I, I think they would just say it's not intended to be used on city streets where does it say that but obviously it works anywhere so they said it's intended to be used on highways yeah that's what i'm saying is okay well, well going off the road again there by highways they mean any street where the traffic is 45 miles an hour I mean, I think obviously it's just not designed to be used on a road like this. Okay, drifting again. Yeah, it's drifting onto the wrong side of the road on these curves. Pretty dangerous. 
very, very risky. Okay, it's drifting again. It can't, basically, if the curve is too much, it just can't it handle just it. It just can't, no. Okay, drifting again. again. The problem with this drift is it's, it's crossing the yellow line and it's going to the shoulder. Yeah. Look at that. Wow, this is crazy. Get me out of here. <laughs> I want to live a few more years. <laughs> Those who criticize on oh Tesla did not see the, something you know yeah a stop sign that was covered behind the trees you know whatever this is what you need to complain about oh my god wow completely on the opposite side as I said yeah it's even like the free a drunk driver even the free system Tesla includes with all their cars is way better than this yes and I, I would not trust it Omar. Be careful. Don't don't do this on the curves. Okay, I think the guy behind this is getting pretty annoyed. I can imagine. He's calling 911. <laughs> I think we have a drunk driver in front of us. The guy's going all over. Crossing the lanes, going to the opposite direction. Yeah, I think that's the worst of it now. It depends. Okay. It's asking you to take over. Oh. Look at that car. Lamborghini. No, no, no. This is so funny. <laughs> it did not make even one turn with confidence. Not a single turn with confidence. We had to take over every turn, every curve. Mm -hmm. And we're not going that fast. <laughs> Just pathetic. It's almost like it's late. Like there's a lag between, you know, yeah. What it sees, what is when it acts. Mm -hmm. It's kind of acting on the frames that came to it like 30 seconds ago, or five seconds ago. Yeah. By that time, it's in a different position. Right. Almost like a weak processor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they definitely don't have oh, that much processing God. power. Basically every single curve required a takeover. Yeah, not a single curve. It has. Wow. Quite a bit. Try. Never driven PV drive east all the way to the end. <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful where, actually. Where does it join San Pedro? PV drive south. But where at? What at the at the middle beginning of San Pedro or at the Trump Golf Course. Oh Trump Golf Course. speed down over because he doesn't know how to go huh? what lane to be in oh, oh my god <laughs> Jesus Christ who 
allow them to release it to passengers I mean, um, the uh, drivers that may not be as responsive as you yeah probably not the safest thing to use it on city streets look at the ocean beautiful yeah I did the same drive in the in your Tesla Model S yesterday and really it handled every drive yeah, with zero interventions yeah you should run it side by side yeah this is just a joke <laughs> well as I said I think we're making it we're making a comparison of completely two different yeah technologies okay here wow look at how gorgeous mistake, it is you know you're gonna be in water so be careful it's an amazing view yeah. Don't you love living here? Mm -hmm. Okay, be careful here. A lot of red cars parked and all that. Yeah, looks like it was going to drive straight into <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. It, it like that convertible. <laughs> Alright, now these are some tough switchbacks here. Yeah, it's not going to make it. Don't even count on the Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's also interesting is that you take over, right? It doesn't disengage. Yeah. You still had to manually disengage, which is kind of scary. Okay, I was going to go into the guardrail. Watch out. This drive is so boring, I'm feeling sleepy. Other than if the view wasn't good, <laughs> I would say it was a waste of time. Yeah, it's gorgeous from here. I would say this car is has its own pros, right? Yeah. One, it's extremely comfortable. The interior uh -huh. is beautiful. The Lu ride, yeah, luxury, the seats. The ride and everything, yeah. It's EV. So one good thing that I realized about it is their, their charging capacity and the range is dead accurate. You know, it's, it's Well, it's got a 118 kilowatt hour battery also. So it's got about 20% more battery than your Model S. Oh, it does? Yeah. But the range is only 330. How come? Well, because a heavier car. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just their efficiency and everything, but it could also be that they are using a, like a different testing protocol or something. Because anyway, there are a few different ways you can measure it. Yeah. So the range I noticed is 330, but it's a good to go ahead. But it's a good 330. Uh-huh. So, so you are, you know, you are EV for sure in this car. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's comfortable. That's it. And mm. everything else. And it's sucks. a Mercedes. The, you know, the inter interface sucks. Mercedes. Yeah, it's yeah. Mercedes. Obviously, builds nice cars, and it's got a ton of bells and whistles. You know, the Chat GPT. It's got massage seats. Massage seats are really. There's good. a little pillow on the seat. You know. Yeah. On the back seat. Yeah. So yeah, if you want a Mercedes, mm -hmm. go for the electric Mercedes. I say. EQS. Yeah. But for most people, I would probably recommend a Tesla as a daily driver, if they're a tech person. If they care about the technology, then you can't beat the Tesla. This thing's going to kind of be like a step back in terms of software and True. all that. But if you don't care about technology and you just want a Mercedes, then, you know, maybe this is for you. True. I mean, it's got some nice technology too. It's got, uh, you know, the heads-up display, and your typical German luxury stuff.
Hmm? Oh. What the hell was it doing? <laughs> Decided to go into the right turn lane. Yeah. Wow. I think it kind of saw that as the lane. That was scary. Autopilot used to do stuff like that too. <laughs> years ago. Uh, years ago. Okay, be careful here. You'll have to manually drive because the road is damaged and it breaks the shock absorbers. So slow down the speed when it goes downhill. Mm -hmm. Constant land movement for next point eight miles. slow down significantly because it hits the bottom there you go. and slow down slow down cut, cut down the speed to 25 This is called rolling hills, literally rolling <laughs> towards the ocean. Yeah, you see where it got its name from. Wow. Oh, going right into that car of uh, people. With people standing there, yeah, at least have mercy on people. Slow down, slow down significantly. It's really nasty bump right here. Slow down, slow down. Okay. No, you're going too fast. See? I told you you're going too fast. No, we why saw that. No, you just damaged the bottom of the car. No. I don't it's... understand why you don't listen to me. No, Because I've driven okay. a zillion times on this road. It wasn't too bad. It was. It hit the bottom. It shouldn't be. Again. not like it's a self-driving. I don't know what you're trying to prove here. You're testing lane assist here as if it's FST. I'm just trying to see how well I can keep the lane. It's not about that. It's like these are, this road is bad there, so you have to manually slow to you drive like 15 miles per hour there. Yeah. Slow down, slow down, slow down again. Alright, I think we can wrap up our testing for the day there. <laughs> so, Actually, I would say not even testing, it's more, more like testing our patience and our, uh, you know, heart, whether or not we're going to have a heart attack. So this is like a stress test for your cardio. In conclusion, I'll say there are some reasons why you might want to buy a Mercedes EV. But the ADAS is not one of them. ADAS is the reason you want to stay away from it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So don't believe everything you read online. This is the reality of what you're going to get for ADAS if you get a Mercedes EV. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.